In this video, we'll introduce Douyin, a popular Chinese social media platform. We'll explore its features, content, demographics, and its significance for your social media presence in China. Your challenge. All Western social media are blocked in China, and the Chinese customers can exclusively consume media on local Chinese platforms. So how do you establish your online presence in China? The answer is to establish your presence on Chinese social media platforms, and one of the largest and most prominent of them is Douyin. At first glance, it's easy to call it China's TikTok, but that's not entirely accurate. While both are owned by ByteDance and focus on short videos, the key difference is accessibility. Douyin is only available in mainland China, whereas TikTok is accessible worldwide, except for mainland China. Separation results in distinct user and content databases for each platform. In other words, they are completely separate. Uh, Douyin has a massive 755 million monthly active users in China, appealing to all age groups. Unlike TikTok, which primarily attracts younger users, 20% of Douyin audience is over 45. Also worth noting, 40% of its users live in China's tier one cities, including major metropolitan areas like Shanghai and Beijing. The user base is fairly evenly split by gender, though it, it leans slightly more male. While TikTok is known for its funny and creative content, Douyin shares this focus but places a greater emphasis on e-commerce. Douyin homepage offers a more advanced and feature-rich experience compared to TikTok. While its user interface initially appears similar to TikTok's, Douyin includes additional pages beyond just the explore and followed sections. For example, it features segments by city, longer videos, food, and current popular trends. Douyin further enhances the search option by ranking top accounts and posts within these segments, which include celebrities, foreign and Chinese companies, influencers, and more. This feature benefits brands by increasing their visibility and making it easier for users to discover and follow top accounts in their areas of interest. This curated approach not only boosts user engagement, but also provides brands with a strategic platform to reach their target audience more effectively. Douyin's in-app stores are one of its defining features. With purchases easily accessible within the app, brand stores leverage influencers to promote their products and direct customers to their stores without ever leaving the platform. While TikTok content is increasingly focused on e-commerce and influencers also emphasize sales, Douyin is far ahead in this area. Initially, Douyin and its bloggers gained popularity by selling cheap products with extreme discounts. Often you'd find 70% or even 90% discounts, particularly in the food category and low-end Chinese-made goods. Today, the range of products promoted by bloggers on Douyin has expanded significantly to include high-end and luxury options. In other words, regardless of what you are trying to promote and sell, Douyin is a platform that you should consider. For example, high-end brands such as Hugo Boss and Michael Kors operate their flagship stores on Douyin and regularly collaborate with influencers. If you're familiar with other Chinese super apps like Taobao or Meituan, You'll notice that Douyin's layout is almost identical to these competing e-commerce apps. This similarity is intentional, making shoppers feel at home regardless of which app they use. Additionally, these apps learn from each other and quickly adopt the latest features to stay competitive. When launching your own brand channel, start by posting new content regularly. These should be short videos, 15 to 60 seconds long. The more frequently you post, the better, but aim for at least one or two posts a week if you lack resources or content. If you're selling something, the next step is to open a brand flagship store and upload your products. Every new post about your products can link directly to the shop. Since Douyin is an algorithmic platform, new people will see your content every time you post, even if you have no followers yet. To start selling and gaining followers, consider working with influencers, bloggers, or key opinion leaders. We will use these terms interchangeably. Here are three main options to get started. Option one, search directly on Douyin for content you like and reach out to the blogger who posted it. You can also search for your competitors and see who promoted their products, then contact those bloggers. While time-consuming and requiring active use of Douyin, this method often yields the best and most relevant results. Option two, use the Douyin backend platform to search for influencers. You can filter bloggers by category, follower numbers, past promotions, prices, and more. This allows you to find many bloggers quickly and start collaborations easily. However, be sure to review the blogger's past content and analyze the data carefully. Many bloggers inflate their numbers by buying fake impressions and comments to boost their profiles. Option three, Work with an agency specializing in providing bloggers. They typically share an Excel file with hundreds of bloggers and their prices, making it easy to get started. But again, beware of fake numbers. Many agencies prop up the key opinion leaders they manage by buying fake impressions for them. In our experience, this approach can provide good looking content and search results, but you can't expect sales from this, only brand awareness. The content bloggers produce depends on your needs and who you choose to collaborate with. It can be a soft promotion that doesn't directly prompt people to buy from you, or a direct promotion of your brand alone or alongside other brands. The price will vary based on these factors. Regardless of your approach, 
consider the other content on your bloggers channels. Your content must fit in both in terms of promotion style and product type to be effective. An alternative to working with bloggers who publish content that remains online indefinitely is to collaborate with live streamers. A live streamer typically broadcasts once or a few times a week, showcasing products during the stream. Followers can interact with them, live, ask questions, and request to see specific features. Live streamers often start in the late afternoon or early evening and continue until midnight. You might be surprised to learn they usually go through about 100 products in a single live stream. So despite the long stream, each product gets only a brief spotlight. People can purchase during the live stream or for some time afterward, and they can replay portions of the broadcast. However, after a certain period, the recording disappears and won't appear on the streamer's channel or in search results. This means you won't get long-term brand exposure from this activity. When you collaborate with the streamer, you provide them with the product and a presentation highlighting unique selling points and frequently asked questions. Considering the number of products streamers promote, they usually read off the screen. Unlike bloggers posting video content, the live streaming market is smaller and few people can achieve big sales. Most streamers will achieve modest sales. However, they can repeatedly promote your product without added costs as most of their fee comes from sales commissions. Most streamers work in the cosmetics category, but you can find people to promote almost anything if you search. Let's examine the differences between influencers who post content on your channel and live streamers. The first difference is clear. Live streams disappear after the event. This means that when people search for your name on the platform later, they won't find any evidence of your live stream or any marketing activity. In contrast, videos published by influencers remain on their channel. So whenever people search for your name, they will find these posts. This is beneficial for brand exposure as you want people to see a lot of your content to create the impression of a well-known brand. However, there is another perspective to consider. With influencers posting content about you, you don't necessarily have to offer a discount on your products. So while offering a time-limited discount can create urgency and improve conversion rates, it's not mandatory. Live streams, on the other hand, are often built around discounts and people regularly expect 20 to 30% off or even more. If information about these discounts is always online, it may undermine your pricing strategy in China, and people might always expect a discount from your brand. Therefore, it works in your favor when the live stream disappears along with the discount information, as only a relatively small group of people will know about your discounts. Another major difference is that influencers posting videos typically ask for a fixed fee paid upfront and sometimes a small commission from sales. For example, a blogger with 100,000, 500,000 followers might ask for a 30,000 RMB fee and a 5% sales commission. Live streamers, on the other hand, primarily work on commission and often ask for around a 20 to 30% sales commission. A fixed fee is usually required for the first collaboration, but will be very low. This means you can do repeat promotions without any fixed costs with live streamers. The downside, between the discount you have to offer, sales commissions to the blogger, commission to the platform, and taxes, there may not be much margin left for imported brands. However, if the math works in your case, aim to live stream frequently. If you are concerned about your pricing strategy, segment your range so you don't undermine your hero products. For better or worse, advertising on Douyin is straightforward. The platform offers several ad formats and types. You can choose your objectives, target groups, and duration. However, much of the setup is a black box determined by the platform. This means the target group cannot be defined in great detail, so you must trust the platform's algorithm to show your post to the right audience. Douyin is a great platform for almost anyone, whether you're a brand selling food, luxury goods, or promoting a tourism destination and services. Douyin is a good choice thanks to its massive user base and top algorithms. If you start on Douyin, begin by opening your own account, posting videos at least once a week, preferably multiple times a week, opening a shop, and starting collaborations with influencers to really kick things off. This concludes our brief introduction to Douyin. To learn more about other platforms in China, please watch our other content or contact us.